Well, good morning, everybody. Are we excited about this great event? The beautiful weather we have. Yeah. You know, today took a lot of work to put this together, and and, and right now it's about 10:30, 10:40. I'd say in about two hours, this park will be completely filled with people. I'm hoping that that's the case. And we have a lot of great events. And so I hope all of you take the time to go around and check out all the different things. This is a proclamation. Whereas the Southern California Live Steamers, a 501c3 nonprofit corporation established in 1946, has provided the Torrance community with miniature train rides and railroad safety instruction and is celebrating its 25th anniversary at Charles H. Wilson Park and... During the past 25 years at Wilson Park, the Southern California Live Steamers has given over 450,000 train rides to the citizens of Torrance, surrounding communities and schools, and... Whereas the Southern California Live Steamers has continually upgraded and beautified the previously unused property by planting many trees and plants, providing landscaping, building picnic areas, installing a fully functional miniature railroad with support facilities at over 8,000 feet of track. And Whereas the Southern California Live Steamers has maintained an impeccable safety record during our public run days, and whereas the Southern California Live Steamers, through donations of money and labor by members and friends, has built the new Wilson Park Depot to further support our services to the public, and... Whereas the Southern California Live Steamers has continuously strived to preserve the railroad history of the Torrance area and educate the next generation in the history and importance of railroading to the growth of our community, state, and country. Therefore, I, Frank Scotto, the mayor of the city of Torrance, do hereby commend and express sincere appreciation to the Southern California Live Steamers as they celebrated a quarter of a century of outstanding and dedicated service to the citizens of our community and beyond, signed this 28th day of October 2012. The person needs to be recognized as the uh, the project manager for this uh, this fine depot here is uh, Kelly Smith. I want to give him a round of applause. Have him come up. Have him come here, stand here with me. This station, this this depot, will from now on be known as the uh, Smithville Depot. We're so pleased to have all these people of all different ages here to celebrate our 100 years. It was a culmination of this year's long festival of activities that we've done. I can tell you from my personal experience, it's been a lot of fun. It's really going to have a lot of memories for me as the mayor of this, this great city. So did you know that today exactly marks this time, 100 years ago, since the city opening day back on October 28, 1912, as Sydney, Jared Sidney Torrance and his team served chicken dinner 
beneath a tent top and viewed city maps of the newly laid out modern industrial garden city that we're in today. Potential businesses and landowners were invited to make their selections and start developing, developing this beautiful city that we're in. So as we bask in this unbelievable sunlight today and the heat and the success of our centennial celebration, I'm, I'm really celebrating not this very unique balanced city that was started back in 1912 and still continues today to be that way. It's been a partnership with businesses and industrial leaders who work together with our residents and our city staff to help encourage our community to prosper. But today it's about looking back. Looking back gives us perspective. And even more importantly to us, it's always looking ahead to the future. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. That's what Torrance is about. 100 years of thriving community. And you know what? We're just getting started in this community. Now I'd like to, to introduce the former mayor of the city of Torrance and vice chair of the Centennial Committee, Dee Hardison, for her remarks. Thank you, Mayor Scotto. As a longtime resident of Torrance, I've watched with pride as the city has grown, matured, and assumed a respectable place on the map. My family and I moved here in the late 1960s, and for 45 years, I've seen positive growth. We are home to many headquarters of international businesses. We have a strong history in youth sports, and we continue to pursue environmental friendly strategies. But even with all the growth, one thing for me that continues to remain the same, and many of you heard, have heard me say this many times, is that we keep that small town feel. I believe what makes, that's what makes Torrance unique. Our small town feel is what has made all our centennial events successful. I bet for some of you that ordered centennial merchandise, you didn't seem, expect to see me knocking on your door to deliver it. I did some of that in December when we were running kind of close and getting Christmas orders out. But that's just it. It's the council members personally answering your calls and your emails. It's standing in the checkout line behind city staff at the grocery store. It's inviting your colleagues to march in a parade with you. And it's gathering your friends and family to brave the cold, to shine flashlights into the sky as we did in early October. That is the spirit of Torrance, our business community. Residents. <laughs> I'd like to say I ordered that, but I didn't. <laughs> this is the spirit of Torrance, our business community, residents, and community partners. They all carry the same spirit, and that spirit for me is what makes Torrance feel like home. In L. Frank Baum's book, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, Dorothy Gale says, if you ever go looking, if I ever go looking for my heart's desire again, I won't look any further than my own backyard. Because if it isn't there, I never really lost it to begin with. I'm happy to be here with all of you today, I guess you could say in my backyard, embracing all of your excitement and, glow, and glowing together with our collective torn spirit. And in culmination today, I really hope that you'll all continue sharing that spirit. Just because our centennial celebration is coming to a close doesn't mean we aren't currently writing history. To another 100 years, happy birthday, Torrance. And now I'd like to introduce the chair of the Centennial Committee, Dr. Lori Love. Thank you, Dee. 100 years. 
Whether celebrated by an individual or a community, this milestone is a testament to the ability to survive, adapt, and grow. We are proud to have reached this year, in addition to today, the culmination of our centennial. With accomplishments to celebrate and so many people who are now in our extended family, we recognize that we could not have accomplished all that we have without the support and the hard work of our committee members. When I say the committee member's name, if you could please wave so people can acknowledge you and um, we'll hold off our applause till I finish. So this is medium long. So starting um, with former Mayor G. Hardison, our vice chair. <laughs> <laughs> Council member Jean Barnett, Council member Tom Brewer, Council member Susan Rillinger, Hubert Chan, Melanie Drake, Donna Duperon, Judy Gibson, Carrie Gilbert, Debbie Hayes, City Clerk Sue Herbers, Barbara Hewins, Mary Hoffman, Catherine Joyner, Tammy Kahn, Daniel Lee, Don Lee, Kristen Matsuda, Francis Mullen, Terry Nishimura, Janet Payne, Michelle Polcari, Tom Rishi, Pat Sant, Cindy Scotto, Dr. John Stecker, and Stephanie E. So now we can applause for all those great people. We've also had two other very special people on our committee that have been great help and support, and that's our city staff liaisons, and that is Eleanor Barth Jones and Fran Fulton, and they deserve a round of applause too. I commend each of you for stepping forward to be part of this historical event. It was your hard work and dedication that got us through this action-packed year. I encourage all of you here today, if an opportunity arises where you can be part of something so spectacular that it intimidates you, take the leap because the memories and the sense of accomplishment are priceless. I hope you all enjoy your day and join us at 345, where we gather on the softball field for our closing ceremony, a release of 100 white doves, followed by a spectacular skydive from the 21st century skydiving team. So I thank all of you for uh, participating today, and in closing, I would like to ask Terry Ann Farron to come to the podium. She's going to be reading a centennial poem. Thank you. Centennial. With vision, determination, and the help of Olmsted and Gill, Jared Sidney Torrance and associates bought a portion of the hill. Imagined by an honorable leader with a master plan, the 1912 Spanish land grant sold, but was mostly oil fields and farmland. Helena Child Torrance had a fondness for the colorful bloom hybrid delphiniums bursting forth in May, right before June. It is fitting and right that we cover the town, honoring our visionaries, spreading flowers all around. 100 years have passed, our legacy still being made. Give credit to the man who gave money for the trade. A new venture to share, future generations that care balanced and lasting from the soil to the sea we live in torrents how lucky are we thank you happy birthday torrents well i want to thank all of you for coming today just give a couple of reminders though we have a food court in the
my name is Ariel Waisaki and I am going to be representing the wonderful city of Torrance in the upcoming Miss California and USA pageant. I chose the baseball teams for the Torrance community, so really excited to be here. <laughs> I'm always excited when I get to do a show on Sundays because there's a song that I play all the time. It's called Sunday Morning, but it never seems like it's a good time to play it except for a Sunday. So pretty excited. This one's called Sunday Morning. It's by Maroon 5. Hope you guys enjoy it. Share some skin, yeah. Clouds are shrouding us in moments unforgettable. You twist to fit the mold that I am in. Oh, but things just get so crazy. Living life gets hard to do. Well, I would gladly hit the road, get up and go if I knew that someday you would bring me back to you. That someday it would bring me back to you She may be all I need From darkness she is all I see Come and rest your bones with me Driving slow on Sunday morning And I never want to leave And fingers trace your every outline Oh yeah, yeah Painting pictures with my hands Whoa, oh, oh And back and forth we sway like branches in the storm Change the weather, still together when it ends She may be all I need In darkness she is all I see Come and rest your bones with me Driving slow on Sunday morning And I never want to leave Oh, but things just get so crazy Living life gets hard to do I would gladly hit the road Get up and go if I knew Singing someday it would bring me back to you Oh, and someday it would bring me back to you She may be all I need In darkness she is all I see Come and rest your bones with me Driving slow on Sunday morning And I never want to leave She may be all She is all I see Come and rest your bones with me Driving slow on Sunday morning And I never want to leave Driving slow on Sunday morning And I never want to leave Thank you.
It was good enough to love Lee And we'll sit park, we'll ride on our steamers. So take me to that city called Torrance. Torrance. Take me to that city called Torrance. Take me to that city called Torrance. Ready, guys? Yeah. Here it goes. Okay, that was the first 20. Let's give them another round of applause. Okay, the second is going to be fast. And the rest are going to let the light go all together. And here we go. Ready? One, two, three. So they're supposed to grab the flag before it hits the ground. That's their job. We'll see if they do their job well. As they get closer, you'll see the flags that they're carrying. Here's our centennial flag coming in. It's a pleasure being here to Centennial. It's always a thrill to jump out of an aircraft and carry down Old Glory. Thank you all very much. I hope you enjoyed the show.